Um, this is my wind tunnel, and um, so I can take you through the different parts in my wind tunnel. Um, so this is the, this white part here is the flow straightener, and that breaks up the wind so it's not all all over the place, and it makes the wind go straight. Hence the name flow straightener. And then right here I have the input section. And that takes this amount of air, condenses it into this, and makes the wind speed go faster. And right here I have my testing section. This is where the, wind, uh, the wings are. And we made it clear so you could see the wings. And then um, move down here. This wooden frame in this plastic piece is called the diffuser. The diffuser um, breaks, uh, sucks out the wind, basically. And then in here, if you look carefully, I have the center body. And in the center body, there's a scale. And the scale is used to measure the drag mechanism. And then right here is my fan. It's a three-speed fan. And um, that's my uh, the big main parts of my wind tunnel. Okay, so what, what, how do you measure the drag in the lift? What did you uh, come up with for that? All right. Well, to work the lift mechanism, you you cho you choose the angle that you want your plane at. So for let's just say thirty degrees right now. So then you turn on the scale, and then uh, most of the time it sets off to zero, like this time. And then um, you would turn on the fan to whatever speed you want it to be at, and then um, this would lift up, and it would give you uh, lower numbers. And that would be the lift. And then the drag is measured right here by the amount it's pushing back on the scale. And um, so the wing is pushed up and pulled back. And then this rod leads over to the center part of this scale that has a guide. And it pushes against the scale and it gives you the reading. And these are very sensitive scales. Um, they're jewelry scales that my dad and I got off eBay, and that's how my lift and drag mechanism works. Good.